Hello everyone! Good morning! Today, I'm going to show you one of my amazing plants here in the dormitory. And this is it. Do you know what's the name of this plant? This is amazing plant. We call this one spider plant. It has some other names. Some call it airplane plant. Some call it St. Bernard's lily. Some call it spider ivy. Some call it ribbon plant. And some call it hen and chicken. I guess it's not chicken. Hen is also a chicken. Perhaps it's hen and chick. Okay. This spider plant has its scientific name. Its scientific name is called Chlorophytum cumusum. Again, I say Chlorophytum Cumusum. That is its scientific name. Don't you know that we can get benefits from this plant? From this spider plant? But before going to that one, let me show you that. This one. It is peculiar. You see that the mother plant and later it will have young one. First this this one will come out from the mother plant. This one. It will come out from the mother plant. And then later it will have like this. Oh, you see? Where is it now? Let's get a bigger one. You see? When this, when this tiny pup will grow, it will have a tiny root in it. That is why when you see, it's like a spider. So perhaps its name come from that one. <laughs> My hand is shaking. Okay. That one. I am amazed really of this plant. Because not all other plants will have like this. Their their pups will be coming from its long stem and eventually it will develop into a small pup. And then when the pup will have more roots, you see? Can you see the roots? A little, nah, sometimes, some more days, that can be ready to be transplanted. Okay, let's go to the benefits we get. The vasa, most of the plants, when you will not tend it properly, it will eventually die. Number one benefit of this is, it is almost hard to kill. When you are forgetful to water these plants, this will not con this will not complain readily because they are they they are so adaptable they adapt easily to various climatic conditions even when neglected for days so it means that even though you will not tend them for how many days you will not water them their life will still go on. 
They grow well in both low light and part sunlight, but it is suggested that you, we will not put them in direct heat of the sun. No direct heat of the sun because the direct heat of the sun will scorch them. Next benefit is it purifies the air, especially air in your room. Spider plant is considered among the easiest air purifying plants to grow. Remember, huh? among the easiest air purifying plants to grow. It is effective in removing harmful chemicals from the air, such as carbon monoxide, silene, formaldehyde, to wind. What are these chemicals? These are chemicals that we easily get from household products, plastic products. Pesticides, leather goods, adhesives, even in clothing and drapes. You see, have you observed when you have those things new and it smells? Those are toxic chemicals. So, spider plants will help us especially in purifying those in purifying the air the next by the way guys this is not my own idea this is proven by a research that is according to the national aeronautical space administration that spider plants is among the best air purifying plants next benefit is it is a bit safe for the pets the some of the other plants can 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 be toxic for our pets inside the house and you know the character of the pets. They are fond of, they are fond of, what's this? Biting, eating, anything that they see. Especially puppies and cats. Diba? So this spider plant is just safe for them. But as owner... I should also tend my con. I don't want that my spider plants will be destroyed by these lovely pets. So I must have to be careful with my plants to protect my plants from the danger of being destroyed by my dogs or cats. And I don't want also to con to venture the health of my my pets okay and the next thing is because you know what even though this will not kill even though spider plants will not kill my pets but it will cause them upset stomach when they're Stomach will be upset, of course. Sometimes they will have diarrhea. And sometimes they will be vomiting. And I will pity my dogs. I will pity my... I, I don't have cats anyway. The cats here in the campus is ju are just volunteers. And the fourth that is i am amazed is 
It speeds recover, recovery of patients. There was a study that was done in the hospital. They were putting spider plants in one patient room and the other room was not. And you know what? The patient in the room with spider plant was has recovered its illness by the way this is sur surgical patients this patient recovered sooner than the other patient who was placed in a room without this kind of plant so it has been said that that it has been said that in in a room where there is this kind of plant patients recovered sooner and they complain not much 